Three. Be humble enough to know Two. you can be replaced, but wise one enough one. to know there is no one quite like you. When the girlfriend I wanted to marry left me and all I could think about was that she was going to be with other guys, that she was going to have sex with other guys, other guys were going to make her happy and not me, what I should have realized is none of them will have the impact that I did on her. Because they are not me. So be humble, but don't ever doubt the quality of your caliber. When that girl left me, I felt depression. I felt what true depression feels like. For me, my brain hurts. I know that they say your brain can't feel pain, but I would literally be so unhappy, I would feel a pain in my brain. Someone can't truly understand what this feels like unless you've been depressed. The only thing I can compare it to is brain fog or sleepiness, but it hurts. Like when you wake up and you're so tired you don't want to get up. That feeling of tiredness, but it's also painful, and it's accompanied by thoughts of self-hatred. In fact, the thoughts were what seemed to be making the pain happen. But the negative thoughts also gave me comfort at night. And I would tell myself I hate my life over and over and I would feel sorry for myself. That feeling would help me relax and fall asleep. It was very counterproductive for my mental health. And I still have a very negative inner voice. Now I utilize positive self-talk or positive affirmations to try and combat the degradation of my mental and physical well-being from years of negative self-talk. Coping with depression can be an overwhelming and challenging experience, and it's important to recognize that seeking professional help is essential for managing depression, which is something I didn't do when I was going through depression, and it eventually led me to become bipolar. In addition to professional support, there are actions individuals can take to help pull themselves out of depression. Here are seven strategies. Number one, establish a support network. Building a support network of trusted friends, family members, or support groups can provide a crucial safety net during difficult times. Having a support system in place can offer comfort, encouragement, and opportunities for open communication. Number two, maintain a healthy lifestyle. Engaging in regular physical activity, consuming a balanced diet, and getting adequate sleep can help significantly impact overall well-being. Physical exercise, in particular, has been shown to release endorphins, which can alleviate symptoms of depression and boost mood. But when you're depressed, it can be difficult to get out of the bed. So sometimes, even though you really don't want to do anything, you have to force yourself. Otherwise, you'll stay in a vicious cycle of staying in bed. Number three, practice mindfulness and relaxation techniques. Mindfulness-based practices such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, and yoga can help reduce stress and promote a sense of calmness. These techniques can aid in managing overwhelming emotions associated with depression. Number four, set achievable goals. Establishing small achievable goals can provide a sense of purpose and accomplishment, contributing to a positive outlook. These goals can range from simple daily tasks to more ambitious long-term objectives, promoting motivation and a sense of progress. Number five, engage in activities that bring joy. Participating in activities that bring happiness and fulfillment, such as hobbies, creative pursuits, or spending time in nature, can help counteract feelings of sadness and disinterest. It's important to prioritize activities that ignite passion and enthusiasm. Number six, challenge negative thought patterns. Cognitive behavioral techniques can be valuable in addressing negative thought patterns associated with depression. Identifying and challenging distorted thinking can lead to a more balanced and realistic perspective, reducing the impact of depressive symptoms. The way that I utilize this is through positive affirmations and positive self-talk. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up on YouTube. There's many videos about it. Number seven, seek meaningful connections. Cultivating meaningful connections with others, volunteering, or engaging in acts of kindness can foster a sense of purpose and belonging. Contributing to the well-being of others can also bring a sense of fulfillment and purpose. It's important for individuals struggling with depression to acknowledge their feelings and seek professional help when needed. These strategies can serve as a complementary approach to professional treatment and can contribute to an improved sense of well-being. Please remember that seeking assistance from mental health professionals is vital in managing depression. And these strategies are meant to complement, not substitute, professional care. If you're one of those men who are stuck inside all day because they're depressed or lonely, don't get out much. Always in your room, always in a dark room. You gotta 
get out and walk. You gotta see the outdoors and let it heal you. Cause I promise staying inside, unless you're playing video games all day, then uh, man, you, you've got to beat. <laughs> but if you're uh, if you're in your house all day long, just try to get out for like five minutes for a walk. And it's not gonna be very fun at first. It's gonna be kind of boring it, it, because you're depressed and a lot of things aren't very fun, but going for a walk is really helpful. There's actually a horse farm right there. And when I run in the mornings, it smells like horse piss. <laughs> and when it, uh, for some reason, when it rains here, like the ditch right there, will fill up with green water. And I, and I looked it up online and they, it said the reason that that happens near horse farms is because they have so many chemicals that they put into the grass or something like that. I don't know. It was probably Google AI, which for the most part doesn't know what it's talking about. Uh, but yeah, man, just go and experience the outdoors. Yeah. I know people say touch some grass or whatever, but just to get outside, it feels good. Just see the sun, it feels good. May you find peace, brother.